morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis without doctors, without drugs, without pharmacists, without insurance companies, without Obamacare. It does it on its own, but it needs the raw materials to do its work, the raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation. And while some folks may call this healing system, this renewing system, this regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls here on the Bright Side. Our number today and every day is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us help you change your life and the life of lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today. 844-236-6010 is our number. Likewise, if you have a success story or a uh, just want to contribute to our conversation. If you have uh, want to purchase any of the Longevity products, if you've heard uh, advertisement for Beyond Tangy Tangerine or the Fucoid Z or any of the Longevity products and you want to purchase them, please head over to my website, brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. That's my blog. Thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting that up. You can also go to criticalhealthnews.com. And check out the articles and news stories and order products right off the website. Or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Just click on the Join the Team link for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a business, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and you can change lives too. You can also call the phone team, the Brightside Ben phone team, at 866-735-2470. Okay, welcome back to the Brightside once again. We're talking skin health, and for you guys who are interested in purchasing any of my skin health products, Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. We've been talking about the skin for a couple of months now. We'll continue talking about the skin. There's so much to say, and skincare is a big concern for folks. Billions and billions of dollars are spent on skincare products, mostly ineffective skincare products. I've been in the the business now for pushing uh, 32 years. I first started developing skincare products in 1983 for the Blistex Corporation. And I've learned a lot about skin, a lot about chemistry from a a healthcare perspective as well as from a beauty and attraction perspective. And the one thing I know about skincare products is most of them are baloney. Most of them don't work. Most of them don't do what they purport to do, what we want them to do. So we've, this is what we've been talking about now for the last couple of weeks, upregulating, making the good stuff happen. This is what a skincare product, in my opinion anyway, a skincare product is supposed to do, turn things on, increase the production of stuff for a century, maybe even longer. Women and men have been tricked, deceived by unscrupulous skincare companies, and unfortunately, ignorant skincare professionals, dermatologists, and uh, people who, pur- cosmeticians, et cetera, people who purport to be able to take care of the skin. And unfortunately, we've been deluded into believing that we can improve the health of the skin by applying stuff on the skin rather than stimulating or upregulating or increasing the skin's ability to make the good stuff. We think we can rub collagen on the skin to increase our collagen. We think we can rub hyaluronic acid on the skin to increase our hyaluronic acid. And we're led to believe that because, well... The facts are the profit margin is huge. If you're paying, just, just do the math here. If you're, your typical skincare product is 80% water, well, do the math. You know, on the margins, this is why bookkeepers and bankers get in the skincare business, the profit margins. 
bookkeepers and bankers who, and marketers who run skincare companies, they don't know about the skin. They don't know about chemistry. They don't know a fibroblast from a keratinocyte from, a, from collagen. You think your bookkeeper understands these things? Or a marketer or a, a, the president of a, of a skincare corporation? If you want to have good skin, you can't just rub something on the skin and expect to get benefits. Using skincare products, like using nutritional supplements, requires a plan or a strategy. Same way you just can't take a supplement or a, a nutritional, a vitamin or a mineral to get better unless you have a strategy or a plan, you can't just rub a product in your skin and expect your skin to be healthier or more attractive or moister or softer or tighter or more youthful looking. The most important strategy for getting healthier inside and out involves turning things on, stimulation, activation. And this activation process, this turning on process, in, in the case of the skin, turning on the growth of skin cells and fibers and moisture factors, involves destabilization. This is how growth occurs. It's how growth occurs in the body. It's how growth occurs in any living system. No matter what that living system is, the system has to be destabilized before growth can occur. Growth does not occur in a stable system. The word exercise itself, as we've said, means to destabilize, ex arc. Destabilize, ex for D, arc for stable. To destabilize is to exercise, is to stimulate. This is why we don't like exercise. Nobody wants to be de destabilized. I saw a gal in the gym this morning doing abdominal work, crunchers. She was doing leg lifts, crunchers, doing all these very ex various exercises for the core of her body. And what I noticed was she was working nonstop for at least 40 minutes doing her exercises. I went in, did my workout. When she was there when I got there, doing her crunchers and her leg lifts. 20 minutes later when I was done, uh, I was done working out. I walked out. She's still doing her crunches and her leg lifts. Now, I've been a gym rat for over 30 years. I've been working out, uh, lifting weights, doing resistance training, running, etc., for over 30 years. And I can tell you from experience that if you can do an exercise for over half an hour, you're not exercising. Literally, you're not exercising if you can do the same workout for half an hour. In other words, the body, the muscle, the bones cannot be destabilized for that long. So while this gal thought she was exercising, she was quite literally not exercising and probably wasting a lot of time. Exercise requires intensity. And when exercise is effectively done, when it's effectively intense, that is when it's intense enough to make a difference, when your exercise program is intense enough to build muscle, when your uh, exercise program is intense enough to get stronger, to make you stronger, you can't do it for very long. Nor do you want to do it for very long. 10 to 15 seconds is really all you need, and it's really all you can do if you're doing it intensely enough. Try to sprint for 30 seconds. For most people, unless you're a, an Olympic athlete or you've been training for a long time, you can't sprint for 30 seconds on the treadmill. I see people on the treadmill for half an hour, 45 minutes. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't get benefits. You will get some benefits. Just moving your body around will give you some benefits. Just moving your circulatory system, even if you're just taking a walk, will give you some benefits, but you're not going to get growth benefits. You're not going to get strength benefits. And that's good news, really, because it means you can get an entire body workout. You can get a full body workout in 10 minutes. And for most of us who have busy lives, 10 minutes is, is really all we have. I don't have, personally, I don't have more than 15 minutes in the morning to get a, a workout. So I do it intensely. I do curls. I'll do a set of curls with 15-pound dumbbells, and I've been working out for years, and I can only do 15 or 20-pound dumbbells, but I do them super-duper slowly, and I can get a great bicep workout in less than a minute. And you only need to do it three or four days a week. If you're working intensely, you need to take days off. So you can get a great workout. You can have a great workout program in three to five minutes, four days a week for most people. Three to five minutes, that's all you need. Sometimes I'll talk to folks and they'll say they exercise by walking to the store or walking on the beach or around the block. But like the gal at the gym, that is not exercise. Not that the movement isn't beneficial. The movement is definitely beneficial. It's always a good idea to move the body. But it's just not going to cause an increase in growth or strength. That requires destabilization, which requires intensity, which by its nature is not pleasant. Intensity and destabilization are not the, they're not our path of least resistance, literally. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're going to take a break and come back with more health information. Don't go away. All 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page. Archive pages at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com, and both both pages have search engines. If you miss a program or you want to review a program or a topic, you can search both pages, benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. Of course, you can also purchase Longevity products off the websites. And you can join the Brightside Ben team directly off the website as well. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Our number today on the Brightside, 844-236-6010. If you've got questions about anything we're talking about here, skincare, skincare products, skincare ingredients, health, nutrition, prescription drugs. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Likewise, if you have a success story or if you want to contribute to the conversation, the number is 844-236-6010. And we want to hear from you. All right, so if you're, uh, you want to get bigger, you want your muscles to get bigger, you want your bones to get stronger, you want your skin to get healthier and tighter, you want more collagen and connective tissue, you want more moisture factors, it's not going to happen by rubbing moisture factors on your skin any more than you can rub muscle fiber on your skin to get your, your muscles bigger. That'd be, the, the idea of rubbing hyaluronic acid on your skin or collagen on your skin to make more collagen or make your collagen better is like rubbing muscle on your biceps to make your biceps bigger. That would be ridiculous. And it's just as ridiculous to use a topical active ingredient on your skin because you want to have more of that topical active ingredient in your skin. However, you can make more muscle, you can make stronger bone, you can make more collagen by stimulating it, by turning it on. But that requires stress. Yes, stress. Stress is your friend in this way. But strategic stress, this is where strategy comes in. You gotta have a strategy when you wanna accomplish anything. Anything, really. You wanna make more money, you wanna have a better relationship, you wanna have a better job, you wanna have a nicer house or car or muscles or anything really in life, you gotta start off with a strategy, a formula, a recipe. I don't know how to bake. I can't bake chocolate chip cookies or cake or pizza or anything, but I can bake the best chocolate chip cookies and the best pizza and the best chocolate cake that the greatest chocolate chip cookie chef on the planet can bake if I have a recipe. That's the beautiful thing about a recipe. It allows you to duplicate results. I can get the same results as the greatest chef on the planet and not know anything about cooking if I have a recipe. Not know anything about baking if I have a recipe. A recipe is like a strategy. It's a formula. When I'm in the laboratory and I'm making something, the first thing I do, I write down everything uh, step by step. I write down all the ingredients. I write down the, the formula step by step so I know what I'm adding. That's a strategy. A strategy is a step-by-step -step recipe or protocol. It allows you to duplicate results. And every time you want to accomplish something, whether it's making a million dollars or having great skin or big muscles or whatever, you've got to start off with a strategy. In terms of the skin, your strategy is going to be to stimulate, to turn things on. But it's not enough to stimulate and turn things on. You've got to have the right nutrients. You've got to have a rest period. In fact, your strategy for healthy skin or healthy anything that's living is stimulation and rest and simultaneously feeding the system. But it's not enough to have a strategy. You also have to have the tools. Just because you have a recipe, that's not going to get you any chocolate chip cookies. That's just a piece of paper with, uh, with words on it. That's no, there's no cookies there. You got to have the oven. You got to have the flour. You got to have the chocolate chips. You got to have the, the mixing bowl. You got to have the mixer. You got to have the tools. So you need a strategy, that's the recipe, and you need the tools that allow you to use the recipe. And then you know, have to know how to apply the tools. Just because you have the chocolate chips in the oven and the, the mixing bowl and the flour and the recipe doesn't get you any chocolate chip cookies. You've got to know how long do you bake the cookies for? Do you put the eggs in before the butter? How long do you mix the, uh, how long do you mix the, uh, beat the eggs for? You've got to know how to apply the tools. But once you have a strategy, and once you have the tools, and once you know how to apply the tools, that's when you get results. I call that the star system, and you can use it to a, a, for anything you ever want to accomplish in life. You start off with a strategy, S, you gather up the tools, T, you learn how to apply the tools, you apply them correctly, A, and you will always get the results you want, R. That's the star system. You can use it for anything you want to accomplish. In terms of the skin, your strategy is to stimulate the skin, rest the skin, and simultaneously feed the skin. 
Your tools, well, there's lots of tools. One of the most important we've been talking about is called alpha hydroxy acids. And you've all heard, if, you're, if you use skincare products anyway, most of you guys have heard the term alpha hydroxy acids. And we've talked about them at length. Glycolic acid, lactic acid, citric acid, malic acid, tartaric acid. These are all, a, this is a, a part, these are all part of a family of acids called the alpha hydroxy acids. They're found everywhere in nature, including in your skin. And by applying these alpha hydroxy acids in an intense enough fashion and then removing them and using simultaneous nutrition, your skin, like any other system, will get bigger and better and stronger like any other system when you, in, when you intensely exercise or stress or burden it. Another great exfoliation tool, one of the best, just as good as, maybe even better than alpha hydroxy acids is retinol. Why? Well, retinol gives you the exfoliation that alpha hydroxy acids do, but it also gives you a vitamin. How cool is that? Retinol, and not just any vitamin, the skin's favorite vitamin. So you've got the skin's favorite vitamin. It also exfoliates and stimulates the skin. It's stimulating and nutritional. That's cool. That makes retinol the single most important ingredient you could ever put on your skin. And if you're using an anti-aging skincare product or skincare regimen, if you're trying to increase collagen and increase uh, or decrease wrinkles, improve the smoothness and softness of your skin, improve the color of your skin, the tone of your skin, the texture of your skin, and you're not using retinol, you're missing the boat. Retinol is the skin's favorite nutrient, and given its ability to stimulate, to turn things on, to exfoliate, it's also an exercise tool. So you got a combination exercise tool and nutritional tool, and it's the skin's favorite vitamin. It speeds up the movement, the activity of cells, and as cells are rising up to the top, as skin cells are rising to the top of the skin, they're releasing their moisture factors. So you get moisture skin, softer skin, and you're actually stimulating the production of your connective tissue fibers. So you're sloughing off the surface of the skin, creating smoother texture. You're removing excess pigments, so you're creating an e more even tone. You're stimulating the production of connective tissue fibers, so you get less wrinkles and fine lines, and, uh, and I'm talking significantly less wrinkles and fine lines, and you're increasing moisture factors. How cool is that? Like with mechanical exfoliation or with alpha hydroxy acid exfoliation, you're also going to get more of the hyaluronic acid, more of the, the, the polysaccharides that trap water. So in addition to having anti-wrinkle benefits, in addition to having moisture benefits, you're going to get more hyaluronic acid water trapping benefits. That means spongier, thicker, bouncier skin. All of this is from using retinol on a regular basis. But remember, you got to take your days off and you got to have an intense amount of retinol. You need enough retinol in your product to get benefits. This is why I developed my Truth Treatment Retinol, Truth Treatment Retinol Bomb. If you're interested in checking it out, go to truthtreatments.com. You have to have enough retinol in your product to get benefits. Most retinol products that you get at a department store or in a salon have something like 0 0.1, 0 0.0, a 0.1% retinol. That's not going to do anything. This is why I have such a problem. I have such a problem with companies in the skincare business that aren't run by lovers of the skin, that aren't run by people who are passionate about the skin. If your skincare company isn't run by somebody or uh, the products are not created by somebody who's passionate about the skin, you're not going to get the best products. In order to really leverage the benefits of retinol, you've got to create a product that has enough retinol in it. And by enough retinol in it, I'm talking 5%. At least, well, 5% is a good place to be. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. Our number, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. We'll be back after this. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you in just a sec. 844-236-6010 is our number. One of the neatest benefits of retinol is it's a great skin lightener. And skin pigmentation or hyper hyperpigmentation, technically called melasma, is a big problem. There's lots of things that can cause your skin to pigment excessively. The, the sun gets all the blame, but the sun really isn't the major cause of hyperpigmentation or dark spots. The sun may stimulate it if you're not if your skin's not healthy, but really it's not the major cause. The major cause is stress hormones. Pigmentation is part of the stress response. Skin pigmentation is a manifestation of excess cortisol and excess estrogen, both of which are stress hormones. 
Retinol is an awesome skin lightener, natural skin lightener. It's a vitamin skin lightener. Just another reason why retinol is so stupendous as an active material. The one, well, a couple of caveats when it comes to retinol and retinol-containing products. You got to make sure your retinol-containing product has enough retinol in it to really do something. This is where the intensity comes from. And you don't want to use your retinol too frequently because it's like exercising the skin. It's very stimulating. You want to look for around a 5% concentration. I use 5% in my, uh, you're never going to see a 5% concentration, by the way, but that's the, what you really need to have some effects. I use 5% in my Retinol Truth, Truth Retinol Balm, which you can find out, uh, which you can purchase off truthtreatments.com or find out about at truthtreatments.com. We'll continue talking about retinol, vitamin A, and we'll talk more about skin health and high hyaluronic acid, and we'll also get to talking about a couple of minerals that are very important for skin health as well. And this is all in a topical fashion as we continue talking skin health and healthy, beautiful skin and how you can use skincare products to leverage retinol, alpha hydroxy acids, and also vitamin C to keep your skin looking young and beautiful. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Mary in Oregon, what's going on? Welcome to The Bright Side. Hi. Uh, if I could take it just a little bit to give you an update on the previous time I called. Um, I called you about electrolytes and uh Someone had told me that there were no electrolytes in the BTT. The update is, apparently the day I was there, he was headed out for his vacation. And so he didn't who, seem, who, he probably he? didn't pay well enough attention. Well, I hate to keep saying his name again. Cause oh, don't say his name, but I'm just, you don't need to say his name. But who, who was he? Or not his yeah. name, but was he a, somebody yeah. selling a product? No, he was a naturopath. Oh, okay. And he said there's no electrolytes in the BTT? He did, but but here's the it's got a happy ending. Okay. So when you told me it definitely did, I called back and uh I mentioned you by name. Okay. Uh, did you get me in I trouble? Just called, I just called you a pharmacist and a biochemist. Okay. And when they called me back they said if pharmacist Ben says it's got electrolyte, just it has, and you can use it. So apparently they also know you to refer to you as pharmacist Ben. Okay. Well, that's good. So, that could be so, good or bad, but I guess in this case it's good. Yeah, the, the yeah. BTT is an electrolyte drink, basically. That's its claim to fame. And electrolytes, and, and I'll let you ask your question here in a second, Mary, but just for the listeners, electrolytes are water-soluble by definition. Potassium and calcium and magnesium and sodium and chloride. These are uh, water soluble, which means you urinate them out, which means most of us, unless we're replacing our electrolytes through the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and vegetable juices, etc., unless we're replacing our electrolytes, guaranteed you're going to be deficient, and electrolytes, as the name implies, are electrical, and that means you're going to be deficient in electrical energy, and that means every single system in the body is going to be operating at less than peak efficiency. Electrolytes are super important, they're water soluble, and yes, the BTT is packed with electrolytes. Okay, go ahead, ma'am. What's your question, Mary? Or do you have a question for us? Yeah. Um, recently, you were talking to someone um, about fasting, and you, if I understood you correctly, you said, "Do you know what that feeling is? That unpleasant feeling that you get in your gut when you're fasting?" And you said it was the breaking up of fat. I said that. You sure that was me? Well, yeah, I thought that you doesn't said sound it. like anything I would say. Oh, okay. No, I, 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 that somebody else might have said that. Uh, the unpleasant feeling, I'm not sure what you mean by that. There's a mental unpleasant feeling because we get in the habit of eating, and a lot of what we eat, a lot of times we eat just habitually, and any time you break a habit, that's going to be unpleasant. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any physical unpleasantness. In fact, when you fast, there's physical pleasantness. When we fast, when we stop eating, our brain secretes happy hormones, energizing hormones. In fact, the hormones that are secreted in the brain, they're called orexins, O-R-E-X-I-N-S, or some people call them hypocretins, H-Y-P-O-C-R-E-T-I-N-S. These hormones, these brain hormones that are secreted are so energizing that drug companies are actually researching them to use as, as stimulants, to, use to, uh, to make drugs... Uh, to make drugs that have uh, anti-narcolepsy and stimulating effects. So orexins and hypocretins, they give you energy and they're stimulated in response to fasting. It's an evolutionarily appropriate mechanism to keep us looking for food. You know, when, you know Mary, when, when somebody says that somebody's hungry 
not in a literal sense for food, but just they have a hungry attitude. Like sometimes they'll tell you athletes are really hungry. What they mean is they really want to accomplish something. To be hungry means you really have energy to do something. You want to get something done. You're hungry. You know what I'm saying, Mary? To be hungry yeah. means you really want to accomplish something. And that's the kind of thing that happens inside the body when we're hungry. Our body sends us out or secretes hormones that will allow us to go out to search for food. And the opposite is also true. You ever wonder how after you eat a meal you feel tired? You just put, you just put gas in the engine. You just, you just put gasoline in your car, your body car, your body engine, and now you need a nap. What is that about? Well, after we eat, resources have to be, have to be shunted to the digestive tract to help us process our food. So the body goes into drowsy mode after we eat. Now, not all food. If you eat a cucumber, you're not going to go into drowsy mode. But if you eat a standard meal, you're going to get tired. On the other hand, when you fast, you have energy. So for people who feel like they don't have their, they're not going to have a lot of energy when they fast or they're going to be too tired when they fast, you know, for most of us, we're going to have the opposite's going to be true. We're actually going to have more energy the less we eat. Now, obviously, you have to eat eventually, but certainly fasting one day a week or a couple of times a month is not going to be, a, it's not going to have a negative impact on your energy. In fact, it might have a positive impact, especially if you're dealing with a, an inflammatory health condition. Does that help you, Mary? Oh, yeah, and I can uh, verify that, that on the Swero Gold Fast, <laughs> you have all the energy you need. Isn't that amazing? You have, on the Swero Gold, or I'm drinking my Swero V right now, actually. And when you drink your Swero V and you don't eat any food, you have more energy. And by the way, the Swero V, for the listeners, is liquid electrolytes, especially sodium and potassium. It also has fermented whey in there, so you get some good cultures, fermented cultures, as well as your electrolytes. Thank you for your call, Mary. Appreciate it. Anything else you want to you want to add? That's all. Thank you. By the way, are you the are you the Mary that I've met several times at the conventions? I'm the person that was sitting next to you when you were headed to the airport shuttle. Oh, okay, great. Good to, good to talk to you again, Mary. Have a beautiful day. Always. Okay, Bye take now. care. Bye-bye. All right, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Keith in New Jersey, my old stomping grounds. Where, where, where are you in Jersey? Oh, about 10 miles outside of Atlantic City. Oh, nice. What town? In Absecon. What's it called? Absecon. I don't know where that is. Is it a nice summer at the Jersey Shore this year? Oh, yes, yeah, it's not too bad at all. As a matter of oh. fact, I'm at, uh, I'm at the lake right now enjoying it. Oh, nice. I used to go to Tom's River when I was a kid. We would go hang out and have yeah, picnics. Yeah, it's about an hour north of me. Very nice. New Jersey, by the way, for the listeners, is beautiful. It's a gorgeous state, and I'm not necessarily talking about Newark and Elizabeth, but when you start going down south by the shore, man, is that some beautiful country. Yes, uh, it is real nice it's country. gorgeous, gorgeous state. They call it the Garden State. Keith, hang tight because yes. we got to take a break. Don't go away, okay? Hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got some lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. 844-236-6010 eight, uh, eight, is our number. Got lines open for you. Keith in New Jersey. What's going on, my man? Okay, pharmacist Ben, I have a couple questions for you. Sure. I'm going to be doing the uh, Swear of a three day fast next week. Good deal. And I want to know when I'm doing that, can I continue taking my healthy star pack and probiotics? And uh, you know, it could go either way. It doesn't really matter either way. You could, if you took a couple days off from your supplements, that's not the end of the world. If you continue taking your supplements, that's not going to ruin the fast. The supplements are non caloric, calories mean heat. In fact, the word calor is Latin for heat. And so the idea of fasting is to cool the body down. This is why fasting is, or among other reasons, this is why fasting is so important. It cools the body down. You don't put calories in. You don't put heat in the body. And just like your, your hard drive has a little fan in it because your computer has to stay cool because it operates best when it's cool, the body is the same way. It operates best when it's cool. Every time we eat food, by definition, we get hotter because we're eat, ingesting calor. We're ingesting calories. We're ingesting heat. When you just heat in the body, the body's got to work hard to cool itself down by not putting heat in the body, by using, uh, by uh, reducing or eliminating or, or not having any calories, you cool the body down. Supplements have no calories in them, so you're not going to really affect the heat of the body. That's why it doesn't really matter either way. If you take a couple days oh, off from okay. your supplements, not the end of the world. If you use your supplements, it's not going to ruin your fast. And that's a, uh, I'm glad you asked that, Keith, because that, that is a very common question that we get. If you want to leverage the power of your fast, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you're not going to affect it 
uh, the fat, the uh, the the uh, benefits of fasting by taking your supplements, and likewise, okay. or the opposite is also true. It's not going to it's not going to be the end of the world if you did take your supplements. Okay. Okay. What else Great. We, what and, else and another question I have for you is: I always throw a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with my meals. Am mm. I able to mix that in with my tangy uh, tangerine? Yeah, it might be a little too acidic. If you like the taste of it, though, it's not a problem. You know, if you take yeah, your tang, if you don't mind the taste of it, the, the the apple cider vinegar will actually increase the absorption of your nutrients. The the uh, beyond tangy tangerine and tangy tangerine is tangy because it's acidic. And under conditions of acid in the stomach, you get better absorption of your electrolytes, you get better absorption of your, uh, of your B vitamins, and if you take it with your meals, you'll get better absorption of your protein, and, and you'll be able to break down your protein more effectively. If you use uh, apple cider vinegar in there, if you don't mind the taste, that's not a big deal. And by the way, if you heat slightly warm your water before you add the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, it almost tastes like a cider. And then if you put some apple cider vinegar in there, it'll taste really cidery. And you can sip on it on a cold day or a cold morning. And it's almost like a tea, a nutritional tea. And it's very, very delicious. So yes, indeed, you can put the apple cider vinegar. And by the way, you can also, uh, for folks who don't like the taste of apple cider vinegar, you can dilute your apple cider vinegar and still get some benefit. And you can take your apple cider vinegar and mix it with some salad oil and dip it in tomatoes and make a nice oil and vinegar dressing. Okay, great. And then one last question. Sure. When I do my uh, probiotic, like in the morning, usually in the morning I'll drink an eight-ounce glass of water with a teaspoon of salt. Could I drink that in a relatively short period of time after taking my probiotic? Now, you, if you, can you drink salt water after your probiotic? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Sure. No, why would you think? I didn't, know if, I didn't know if I could do it right away or if I have to wait. No, nah, it doesn't matter. You could do it right away. What, now, you're using what kind of salt are you using, first of all? I use a uh, Celtic sea salt. Good for you. And how much do you put in there? I do a teaspoon with eight ounces of water. Do you drink the whole thing down? Yes. And how does it taste? It doesn't bother me. It doesn't do, taste too bad. Does it t- well, I, I, does it taste good is what I want to know. Do you, do you like the taste of it all? Yeah, I, I like the taste of it. I, like, I love the taste of salt water, but I can't do too much of it. I just, do, I just sip on it a little bit. That's one of the neatest things about salt water is it tastes really delicious considering it's just salt water. It's kind of amazing. Uh, but I've never, I've, I've never heard of anybody drinking, a whole, uh, you know, drinking it down like that. Usually people sip on it. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, you're, it's basically just minerals, but I just never heard of anybody doing it that way. What happens after, just for curiosity's sake, after you drink your salt water, uh, have you ever tried to eat salty food after that? Uh, not normally. I mean, usually when I have breakfast, if I'm having eggs or something like that, I'll, I'll sprinkle some more salt on that. You can sprinkle more salt on it even after you drank your salt water? Yes. You have had okay. no uh, kind of after effect from it at all. Okay, good deal. Yeah, salt is very important for the adrenal glands, and uh, if you're craving salt, that's usually a sign that your adrenal glands are, are working overtime, and one of the neatest things you could do if you're under stress or uh, if you have psychological stresses or phys- physical stresses, if your adrenal glands are working overtime, is drinking small amounts of salt water. So you're right on track, my man. How, how are you doing with your health? Oh, good. I, ever since I started with a healthy start pack and a few of the other supplements going back like about a month ago, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Very good. And when did you, uh, how did you hear about the products? How did you hear about Longevity from the radio show? Or? Uh, it was my brother. He heard about it. He saw it on um, one of the religious shows, Benny Hinn, I think. Benny Hinn, okay. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, he had mentioned it to me, and then I found out, you know, on the iPad there where, where the radio station is, so I started listening to Dr. Wallach, and then I found out about you and started listening to your shows also. And, and, uh, and so a month, ago you did, a month ago you didn't know anything about Longevity? Well, I knew about you. It was probably going back about three months ago. And okay. then, uh, then I eventually uh, started taking the supplements. But I've spoken to you a couple times in the past. On the phone? Over the you... last, last few weeks. On the phone or on the show? Yeah, mm-hmm. on the phone. On, yeah, on, on, on the, the phone. Yep. Uh, okay, good deal. Well, I'm glad we helped you out. Thanks so much for, your ta- for uh, taking the time to call, uh, one, Keith. One more, one more thing, Ben. When I do do the probiotic, how long after can I eat breakfast? It doesn't matter. You can eat. You can oh. do the probiotics with food. It could go either way. I know there's some oh, people right. that say one, or, one way or another, but for most folks, it's not going to make a difference. Okay, great. Well, thank you. Appreciate a lot there, Pharmacist Ben. All right, Keith. God bless you. Have a beautiful day, man. Sure. Beautiful day in New Jersey, in the, in the Garden State. In, oh, but I don't know I'm sorry. Email. Hey there. I, I think I hit the wrong button, but I got you, whoever you are. What's going on? Hello, is this Ben? That would be me. Is this Rosie? Yeah, hi. Look, I, I'm kind of limited just now, but um, I need to contact you. So what, what's your email again? Ben, B-E-N, yeah. at K-S-C-O dot com. K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar, K-S-C-O dot com. 
And put on there Rosie, because I get zillions of emails. I'll try to I will. Fi- okay, find you there. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, Rose, thanks so much. Have a Rose good day. And- Bye. Have a good day. God bless you. Say hi Bye. to Steve for me, too. Okay, take care. I love for right. you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye, Rosie. All right. So, uh, let's see. So, we, that's, uh, you know, I think, uh, let's see, we got a couple more calls here. Let's see if we can get one more in. I was going to read this letter. I got a really cool letter here about dialysis. You know, there's an epidemic of kidney disease. By the way, I'll just say this before we take this call here. Uh, Michael, hang tight. If you got a kidney problem, and many people do, if you're on dialysis, understand this. The kidneys filter the blood. Kidney disease is blood disease. In fact, all disease is blood disease. We say all the time, all disease is cell disease. Well, all cell disease is dirty blood disease. I actually did a blog post on dirty blood. If you head over to pharmacistben.com or if you get my newsletter, You'll see a post on dirty blood. Cleaning the blood is how you handle kidney disease. It's how you handle dialysis. It's how you handle anything. Clean the blood. How do you clean the blood? Work on your digestive system. Focus on digestive health. All right. Michael in Pennsylvania, what's cooking? Welcome to the Bright Side. Um, various things. Um, I've tried to call in, call in before. I'm actually calling today to see if you could possibly uh, hook me up with somebody there for employment opportunities or an internship opportunity. With uh, Longevity? So, uh, say again? Are you talking about with Longevity? Uh, this is InfoWars. Are you calling InfoWars? Yes. Oh, no, you got, uh, I think you got to wait a little bit. You got to wait about a minute to get on InfoWars. InfoWars will be up. Uh, Alex, you're, ta- you're, you're waiting to talk to Alex Jones, right? Or Alex, Alex's show? Yeah. I'd lo- yeah I'd Michael, like to call, to you got to call back in a few minutes because you're still on the bright side. Okay. okay, I'd like to, is, it, um, is there any way, like, that when, I talk, when I do call back, they'll be able to hook me up with somebody? I can't, you know, I can't there? help you. I can't help you with that because I don't know how they operate over there. But thanks for calling. All right, that was, uh, that was kind of strange. But anyway, uh, if, you got, if you're on dialysis or if you've got kidney problems or if you know anybody who's on dialysis, understand that it's about the blood. And, in fact, all health issues are really about the blood. There's only three ways things get into the blood, through the nose, through the skin, and through the digestive system. And by far and away, the most important place where toxins get into the blood is through the digestive system. You guys, don't overthink It's not complicated. Cleaning the blood simply means controlling what gets into the blood through the digestive system. Unless you're an IV drug user or you're injecting stuff in directly into the blood through your skin, uh, the chances are really good that once you stop putting stuff in to the digestive system, your blood is going to the blood is going to respond in a positive fashion. You're going to have cleaner blood. And yes, people get off of dialysis. It happens all the time. Of course, you do have to make sure you're using your nutritional supplements. Get on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach, the Healthy Star Pack, and your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. Especially, especially, especially the water-soluble electrolytes and water-soluble vitamins, which are excreted on a regular basis. Those are your energizing vitamins. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products or joining the Brightside Ben team, please head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of the Truth Treatment products, including the Truth Retinol Gel, Go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. On our next program, we'll continue talking retinol and alpha hydroxy acids. We'll talk some vitamin C. We'll talk some hyperpigmentation. And we'll also get into maybe a mineral that's very important for uh, helping, uh, topically helping the skin stay health, stay healthier and younger and more beautiful looking longer. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. <laughs>